Alrighty, thank you for joining me yet again in yet another exercise wherein I will read a paragraph to you, such as the one located just behind me. Embedded within this paragraph are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. Please bear that in mind as you listen to me read. Afterwards, I will step out of frame, hoping to God that you can read that clearly, and ask that you pause the video to make corrections independently, and have you resume once you feel like you've hit all the corrections that there are possible to make, so that you and I can make corrections together. Feel free to let me know what you've done after we've corrected together in the comment section below that perhaps you disagree with, or maybe I missed something, which happens from time to time. And of course, including that in the comments would help us all out. So anywho, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and ideally you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe so that we can continue, continue to practice together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started by reading the actual paragraph, starting first with our title. Echo and Narcissus, very famous Greek tale. <clears throat> All right, Mount Olympus was home to the Greek gods. Zeus was chief of their gods. The sacred Mount Helicon was home to the nymphs, uh, whose job was to tend to Zeus's wife Hera. When the nymphs were not working, they liked to play near the sparkling waterfalls and wooded forests at the base of Mount Helicon. Of all the nymphs, Echo was the merrier and also had the better and also the better storyteller. Sometimes Echo would amuse Hera while Zeus came down from Mount Olympus to join the nymphs in their adventures. Echo's stories kept the goddess occupied so she would forget to be jealous. Interesting. Alrighty, so go ahead and pause here to make those corrections and of course resume when you're ready to go. Excuse me. All right, uh, I'm moving and shaking, so you're going to go ahead and correct. Starting at the beginning, and I, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing the name of this mountain, but uh, just for reference. All right, so Mount Olympus was home to the Greek gods. Greek, proper noun. Greek gods. Zeus was chief. Oh, misspell. That I should come before the E. Chief of the gods. So he's the head honcho. The sacred, uh oh, misspelled as well. That E, excuse me, that I should be an E. The sacred Mount Helicon was home to the nymphs, whose job was to tend to Zeus's wife, Hera. Uh, let's see. When the nymphs were not working, they liked to play near the sparkling. We're going to want to drop that E when we're adding that suffix. So the sparkling waterfalls and wooded forests, which should only have one R, not two, no double consonants, at the base of Mount Helicon. Of all the nymphs, comma, Echo was the merriest. We're not looking to use this comparative, so we're gonna use the superlative, so merriest. And also the better, the best storyteller, should be best. The merriest and the best storyteller. Uh, sometimes Echo would amuse, which should have one M, amuse Hera while Zeus came down from Mount, Mount Olympus to join the nymphs in their adventures, which is also misspelled. Adventures, A-D-V-E-N-T-U-R-E-S. Echoes stories, not a plurality of echoes, we want singular possessive, so apostrophe S, yes. echoes stories, those are her stories, kept the goddess occupied so she would forget to be jealous, which is misspelled, J-E-A-L-O-U-S, period. Okay, trouble in paradise. Uh, oh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, as a reminder, please give it a like if you did and subscribe if you'd like to continue to practice with me. All right, thank you.